What's going on guys, Ryan O'Toole back here again giving you guys another movie review. If you guys are new here, feel free to click that subscribe button and that bell notification icon for more reviews, reactions, rankings, and more movie content. I've got another early movie review for you guys today, and today we're talking about the newest live action film in Disney, and that is Cruella. Directed by Craig Gillespie and starring Emma Stone as Cruella DeVille, you also got Emma Thompson, Paul Walter Hauser, and Mark Strong. This is an early movie review. I do want to thank Disney for providing me an early screener for Cruella. This movie does release this Friday, May 28th in theaters, as well as on Disney+. Plus. Set in 1970s in London during the punk rock movement, the film follows Estella DeVille, an inspiring fashion designer, and explores the path that will lead her to become a notorious criminal known as Cruella DeVille. Now, I'll be completely honest, I wasn't excited going into this movie or hearing the concept that they're going to be doing a Cruella DeVille origin live action film. We have seen a live action 101 Dalmatians film before with Glenn Close as Cruella DeVille. Glenn Close really made the character of Cruella DeVille very iconic, and so when I found out Emma Stone was cast as a younger version of Cruella DeVille, and this was going to be an origin story of her, how she became the character, I didn't really know what to think. You know, Disney live-action movies have a hit-or-miss factor. There's some really bad ones like The Lion King and some good ones like The Jungle Book. Another big surprise this year, Cruella was so much fun, a lot better than I was expected going in. This movie is dark, it's witty, it goes there in certain scenes, and it is just very whimsical. I think just the technical aspect of the live action Disney remakes as of most recently have been so impressive. What they did with Mulan last year, just the production design, the costumes, everything looks so realistic. What they did with The Lion King, even though I hated that remake, it was a shot-for-shot -shot remake of the original. The visuals were very impressive. Here in Cruella, the costume design. It is already the frontrunner for costume design at next year's Oscars. All the costumes are lush, they're gorgeous, they're flappy, and they're just so great. Emma Stone's a great actress, and she is fantastic as Cruella DeVille. This is definitely one of her best performances in her career. She's an Oscar-winning actress for La La Land. And she proves it in here how great of an actress she is. She just becomes this character that we can root for. She's sympathetic. And then she just turns into Cruella DeVille. And she's so entertaining in this movie. I really loved her, just her commitment to the role and how much she can really transform different personalities in here. She's basically applying for this job to be a fashion designer. She has to work her way up. Then we meet Emma Thompson's character. Emma Thompson is just so OG. She is awesome in here. The dynamics between her and Emma Stone reminded me a lot of Anne Hathaway and Meryl Streep in The Devil Wears Prada. And I was also very surprised how it really paid homage to stuff that really goes down, especially in this time period. And it's supposed to take place really in the 70s. And it feels like something that would come out this year. And with those sequences, it definitely reminded me of Joker. It feels very inspired by Joker. And in the best way possible. Because it feels relevant to today's time. It's so great. I loved how self-aware the movie was. And going in, I was worried about that. It would get too overly complicated. And this is a very easy story to follow. Because what happens in the beginning, you get, you understand. And then how the rest of the movie flowed, I was able to follow it. And another thing I really liked about Cruella is how much it really dived into Horace and Jasper. Those two sidekick characters we saw in 101 Dalmatians. There really wasn't much of them. They were just henchmen to Cruella de Vil. And you see that family bond they had with each other. Because... It's sad when you think about it, the first act of the movie, and you see how close these people are. Paul Walter Hauser is entertaining. Joel Fry from Game of Thrones, also good in here. And I just think this film has a really cool soundtrack as well. The end credits in here were cool. There is an end credit sequence, so make sure you stay for that. Now, I do have some issues with the film. The runtime itself, 
Two hours and 14 minutes long. I think that's too long. That's a trend they've been doing recently with their live action Disney remakes. They're too long. This film could have been about an hour and 45 minutes. And yeah, it's very predictable. I watch lots of Disney movies and they have the very typical Disney formula. Some things I'm like, yeah, I saw that coming. And the ending... Yeah, I saw that coming. Before I give you guys my final overall thoughts on Cruella, if you guys like this review and you want to see more reviews like this, definitely hit that like button. It helps the channel a lot. Seriously, it does. And consider clicking that subscribe button for more reviews every single week on this channel. Ranking videos, Q&As with my subscribers. I talk a lot to movie guys. Come join this awesome community. Hit the like and subscribe button, and let's talk about movies. Cruella was much better than I expected it to be going in. Emma Stone is just a delight in here. Emma Thompson is also great. Production-wise, it is flawless. Costume design-wise, it is flawless. And it really made me appreciate the character of Cruella more. And I was just really impressed with what they did in here. Craig Gillespie, I really liked him as a director for I, Tonya. And it really does something different as well with Cruella the Bill. On my rating scale, I'm going to give Cruella a B+. There you have it, guys. That was my review for Cruella. What did you guys think of Cruella? If you've seen it yet, if you loved it, thought it was okay, or didn't like it at all, let's talk about this film in the comments below. Guys, thank you so much for watching this review. All my social media links are in the description below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!